Hey guys, it's JG here with Earth 5D, back for another pick a card reading, where you are the light, the path, and the way forward, friends. How are you doing today? Happy spring, happy almost Easter. This is a timeless reading, so hey, whenever you get here is when you get here. We are looking at what is springing up in this connection, pun intended. And we are gonna look at your person's thoughts, feelings, and energy right now, okay? Thoughts, feelings, and energy, timeless reading, which is springing up in this connection. Guys, take a moment here and pick your pile. If you need some more time, just go ahead and pause it. Give her a pause a -roo. <laughs> All right, let's jump into it. Oh, I forgot to mention. Clear quartz, pile one. Pile two is the Rhodonite. Pile three is the Carnelian. Carnelian. Rhodonite. And the clear quartz. Okie dokie, friends. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, if you chose the clear chords, welcome to your reading. Happy spring, happy almost Easter. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you get here is when you get here, friends. So with this clear chords, there's something very, very um, clarifying about to happen, okay? Maybe it's already happened, but definitely picking up on a, a clarifying energy. Something becomes clear that was not clear before. Looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, and energy. Starting with the two of wands. The beautiful ace of cups. Loving it. I'm hearing that song, Baby, I'm Worth It. You didn't want me to sing that. So, Four of Coins, Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, King of Wands, and the Eight of Coins. Interesting, no major arcana. Wait, maybe there is one major arcana. There's one card left. And the two of cups, beautiful. Okay, that happens sometimes. We just don't have any major arcana, okay? So um, this is like, this reading pile one is more of like a, a snapshot of what's happening right now rather than like deep, deep into the connection, right? This is a snapshot of, of now. Okay, so this, this energy is transitory, so it's changing. Um, pardon me. Um, okay, so that's ne neither here nor there, okay, friends? So thoughts, feelings, energy here, they are feeling protective of you, okay? And I also think you're feeling protective of yourself. Sometimes the four of coins can be a symbol of like stinginess or holding back. This, in this case, with all the other cards and energy, I feel like this is a card of possessiveness. <laughs> this person is holding on to you. They're holding on to the Two of Cups. They're holding on to you setting your good boundaries. Overflowing with love here. This is a card of partnership and love, adoration. Six of Cups, definitely a soulmate card for me, remembering you from past present or future time is really not linear so they're just having thoughts of you they're very pure thoughts of you very clear like i said clarifying clear pure thoughts about you feeling love in their heart space feeling that christ consciousness they see you as like really knowing like how to set good boundaries really knowing what you want being vocal about what you want the queen of swords not holding back. No fear of communicating. 
They don't have, they don't see you as being afraid to communicate. And with the king of wands, you know, they're feeling super passionate. They're feeling, mm, I mean, I am hearing the word enraged, right? And I don't think they're angry. I feel like they're kind of like enraged with passion, if that makes sense for, for, for your culture. Um, cause I think sometimes passion can be misconstrued, you know, I mean, this isn't a mad, angry energy. It's just kind of like engulfed in passion. It's like inflamed. Um, so there's a lot of passion here with the two, there's two people mirroring each other here. I feel like you two mirror each other's passion. It could be that you are in a divine union of the two flames. Let's not overlook the two flames, not to mention you have also the two of wands, so two flames. So this person is really um, planning for your, your future. This person's learning a lot from you. This person's interested in you. This person is interested in a partnership with you. This person is interested in, I'm hearing that song, the Death Cab for Cutie song, I Will Possess Your Heart. I feel like this person is like overwhelmed with emotion and wants to be in a partnership with you. They're learning a lot from you. Like I said, there's a lot of things you're good at and in the world, like you're just good at good at navigating the world. They see you as talented, multi-talented, and they do not want to let you go. They want to plan for this future with you. They have, we have two of cups, two of wands, and then we have two flames. It's like two, 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 a lot of two energy, a lot of planning and partnership is what I'm feeling. Let's get some. Oracle cards, friends. We have one ring circus. Okay, so we have the one and the five adding up to six. One ring circus. As opposed to a three ring circus. <laughs> Interesting. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have protection. Keep some aquamarine ring close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems. So we have protection and safety. Like when I said holding on to you. We have potential here with the Himalayan blue poppy. This person um, definitely gets some kind of high from this connection. This poppy energy. Just like some kind of radical like joy and the potential of this connection radical joy and planning for the future radical is just a word i'm channeling i it's just something i feel here um so with one ring circus it could have been that for some of you i'm getting that you're protecting your singlehood like you're you're used to your one ring show dun, 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 dun. like even if it's just one one like just you with your own circus, that's something you can manage and control, right? When this is like a three ring circus, then it's just like out of control, right? Too much to handle. So there's a part of you that I feel like is protecting what you can manage and control. And I think this is like blowing the lid off of like maybe some boundaries that you've set. Like this is a risk for you. The risk feels very, like a very, a really good payoff. The risk versus reward, if you're trying to manage that dichotomy is, is the risk worth the reward in this connection? From what I'm seeing with your person here, at least in these cards, in this energy, in this snapshot, right? I see the two of cups. I see partnership. I see this person having very strong, developed, romantic feelings for you. I see this person heart space being activated with the ace of cups i feel like this is and the six of cups this is a new beginning this is soulmate energy this is new love 
If it's new love in an old relationship, great. Or if it's just new love and new love, there's a tremendous amount of potential and growth here. Okay, ah, and then I just said growth. What the heck? Can't make it up. So um, what I was seeing the growth in is the eight of coins and the potential. And then this card popped out. So seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So this, this, you are like, you are helping this person grow. And I, the image I'm getting is spoon, big spoon, little spoon. <laughs> but I see you as the bigger spoon here, um, not in terms of size or anything, just your energy. So I feel like you're, you're spooning this person in, like in a in a metaphorical way. Don't take it literal, friends. And like, there's this growth. It, it's helping you, two of you, get out of your single dome and, and getting you out of your ways. There's a purity here. I keep seeing white. There's a purity. There's a, a potential here that's very beautiful. The energy in this reading is very nice. It's a, it's a beautiful, friendly energy. There's a, it's a protective energy, friends. And it's a lot of soulmate energy, a lot of love, a lot of planning. This person has absolutely great intentions for you. I see this as as beauty, you know. So for some of you, I feel, I feel like I need to say, if, if your person isn't nice, or they're kind of like an a-hole, I don't think this is your pile. This person's uh, like really feels like a nice person. It feels like they're, what they want for you is good. So there's a loving, protective energy coming from your person. I said possessive in the beginning. It could just be more protective. Protecting your one ring circus, protecting you. Keeping it, keeping it nice, keeping it beautiful is what I'm feeling, okay guys? So that's what I'm seeing here, pile one of what's springing up in this connection and what their thoughts, feelings, and um, energy is towards you, friends. So I'm going to get some charms now. Let's see what we got. All kinds of stuff here. So elephants might be significant for you. This is the second elephant we've got here. Elephants never forget, right? That's what I'm getting, a lot of wisdom. Two elephants. Bell here, it's like, the bell, the, the bell has tolled. It's like the ringing of the bell. It reminds me of angels answering the call, friends. We have four, five, some of you might be 45, or 54, we have 11, 11, four, five. So some of you might've been born, um, I'll just say September, cause I was about to say September. September 4th and 5th, um, also Scorpio energy, November 4th or 5th. And another one, so one, 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 confirmation of a divine union, I'm feeling twin flame. We have a O, opportunity knocks. A lot of sunshine, a lot of diligent, beautiful, lighthearted energy. We have love is the ultimate law of life. I feel like there's just a very deep connection here based in love. If you do anything out of sheer compassion, you'll never be wrong. There's a lot of reverence here, a lot of love and compassion. We have dragonfly energy. You might be seeing dragonflies. Look at this little penguin. So just a sweet energy. We got an O and a K. So if you were like wondering, this person is okay. This is okay. If you're like, is the SHIT hitting the fan? No, it's okay. Blank tile, so fill in the blank. <laughs> I was gonna wear a sweater so you didn't have to look at my arms, but here we are. I forgot to wear a sweater. It's warm here. So we have another O. O, O, O. The OG. So the original gangster. So with this OG energy, look, like this could be someone returning. This could be someone that you just really love and you just never got over. And this person has a lot of feelings for you. They are the OG. You are the OG to them. <laughs> a lot of wishes coming true here with this wishbone. Like I said, beautiful energy. 
happiness is an accomplishment. I feel like there's a lot of going on here. Oh, I know I got the nine. Uh, September because it's a five plus a four. That just came like without me even thinking. Was, um, but yeah, September energy, May, April. Mm -hmm. Some of you might have a 14. Some of you, your people might be 41. All kinds of number combinations there. So with this, this queen, this crown i feel like you are the queen with this purse you guys might be working on your coin or your bag and that is a-okay this person admires you admires your um authenticity and your integrity and this person is feeling a ton of new love for you friends this penguin you know and with penguins the male takes care of the child the male is quite nurturing and I feel like, you know, your person is quite nurturing. Some of you are 21. Beautiful friends. There's growth here, okay? So this is what I have for you, pile one. If you'd like your own private reading, check me out. Just feel free to visit my website. Drop a comment below. I care about how you feel about this energy. Like it if you like it and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Don't just hide out in the shadows. Come on out and say hello. Even though I tend to hide out in the shadows. <laughs> For some readings, I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to comment. I don't feel like opening up that can of worms. But anyway, we won't give you a can of worms, friend. We will not. We will not trouble you. Okay. So there we have it, pal. One. Lots of love and light. Have a beautiful Easter holiday. Um, if you just happen to be here at the time I publish this, take care, that one. Okay, pile two, welcome to your reading. Do I sound like a singing telegram? I don't know why I'm catching singing telegram. That could be for some of you. Here we have the road of night. And... Let's get into it. Your person's thoughts, feelings, energy. What is springing up in your connection? Clearing the energy. We have got the page of wands. This person feels a little serious, even though we've got the three of cups and the page of wands. Feels a little bit more serious than pile one. Two of Cups, although the Two of Cups came out in both piles. Queen of Cups. You, my viewers. Ten of Wands. This person can party, okay? I'm not, you know, they know how to have a good time. That doesn't mean they're doing that now. We have the Five of Coins. And we have the Hangman. We got a new point of view, friends. Let's see. Thank you for bearing with me while I am adjusting my camera. Okay, so let's get the tarot and then we'll look at the oracle. Um, It's really clear because there's one major arcana, okay, that Spirit's making a point to tell you that this person has a new point of view, okay? They're seeing things in a different way. Some people see the hangman as like stalled. I see the hangman as seeing things in a new way. <clears throat> we also have an eye on this card. So I'm reading this also by the imagery and it's third eye awakening, right? I like the yellow too. The yellow really feels like sunshine. So they're getting a really positive point of view about you. And I think it's not just about you, friends. I think they're getting a positive point of view on life. This person knows how, knows how to go out and have a good time, okay? They know how to divert their energy and like, this, this right here is speaking to me of other energies, like 
it's a good time, right? This is about celebrating with friends. This person knows how to have a good time. And with the 10 of wands, that's working hard, having a good time. Like they know how to have a good time. Um, it doesn't mean that they're a player. It just means like that they, they could spend time just, and even like going out and exercising, like I'm seeing like a, um, people uh, riding like on a, long, a long bike ride, like biking for fitness, like biking long distance, um, like bicycling. Um, cycling, hello, trying to get that out. Cyclers, um, yeah, Page of Wands, you know, that, that the Page of Wands has a lot of passionate energy and they have a lot of energy to burn. They're like, a lot of energy, I'm feeling a lot of energy, a lot of communication. This person might, if some of you, if your person has said like, hey, I just want to go have a good time, that's not accurate that's not entirely accurate this person's getting a different point of view this person wants a partnership two of cups is about having a partnership this person has gotten a different point of view on life and you know it's they see you oopsie we have the five of coins here and we also have the queen of cups so look at this five of coins this lady is laying on the ground wrapped in a blanket you know not looking very happy at all So they don't want you to feel alone and left out in the cold. Like that's the last thing they want. Um, okay, so for some of you, you guys had a partnership and this person's like, yeah, I'm gonna go out and have fun. Like I'm, I wanna put this relationship on hold for a minute and I wanna go out and have fun. And that is not turning out to be very enjoyable. <laughs> That's for some of you. You'd already know. They'd already have told you, like, hey, I'm going to go out and have a good time. Um, but that's not something that is, is very enjoyable without their, 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 their you, <laughs> their queen of cups. It's not that fun without you. Their love, okay? So they're, they're getting a, not only a different point of view on life, but they're getting a different point of view on love. And they don't want to leave you hanging is what I'm getting. So a couple different scenarios, right? The Three of Cups also can be, you know, just putting their energy in something else, not someone else per se, but something else. So this person might feel a tiny bit guilty because they're working a lot and they don't want to leave you out in the cold because you're their love, your partner, their life partner. I feel like for Pile 2, they see you either are their life partner or they see you as their life partner, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's get the Oracle cards back to you. We had, yeah, Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups also came out in Pile 1, if that interests you, okay? So Ace of Cups, we have the Ace, the Two, and the Three of Cups. So it's like, wow, this beautiful progression into celebration. Some of you, they just want to take you out and have a good time. Some of them just feel burdened because they really want to take you out and have a good time. Maybe they haven't been able to do that yet. We have Golden Palace, card 23. So this person feels like your connection is sacred. It almost reminds me of like a, a marriage cathedral, like a cathedral where you'd get married, a basilica for some of you with that Byzantine architecture here. So it could be that you are in, in a country that has quite a bit of Byzantine architecture. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So if this person has just been working too hard or they've been playing too hard, they're ready to take back control of their life. This person is in love with you. We have anchor, keep yourself grounded. This person wants to be grounded. They're thinking, of how anchoring your energy is and how this partnership is just like a huge, beautiful anchor in their life. And they don't wanna like go off the rails. They see you as the sacred palace. They literally see you as the sacred palace. We have power with queen of the night. So there's a lot of natural progression happening in this connection. And they have the powerful desire to free themselves. 
into this and just kind of fall into this love relationship. So, so this person, some of them were divided. They were like, one of them, like some of them, they were like, yeah, I'm all in, but I just, I wish I had this freedom, right? Um, and they just really want to refocus on the power and the, and the sacredness of this connection because it's a huge anchor for them and they really don't want to be on the outside and they don't want you on the outside either. So there's a lot of new love in this person's heart. We have hope. Just love this deck. I, I even forget the name of it. Some of you might recognize it. But look at this, the expression on that unicorn's face. Stay positive. The world is behind you. Look up to the light. This person has a powerful amount of hope in this connection. They have a powerful amount of hope in you. Look at the golden palace. They see it as sacred. This is their new point of view. They've become hopeful. They, they become hopeful that they're not like tied into this behavior of just like heaviness. For some of them, it could be as simple as just working too much. And they want to free themselves from that because you are their anchor. You are their true north. You are the love, you know, with the Queen of Cups. You brought all this love in their life. Or you're about to. So the two of you are better off together. And they know this. And you, you've helped them to, to keep their head up. You've helped them to... Add meaning to their life. Add sacredness to their life. I feel like a lot of you are in this partnership already. Most of you. It's okay if you're not, but I just feel like a lot of you are. So they want to have a good time. A lot of them just want to go out and have a good time with you. And just step away from work. And feel hopeful about life. Okay, pile two, let me get your charms. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> luck. The luck of the Irish. So some of you might be Irish, or you might be from Ireland, or St. Patty's Day is or was significant to you. We have March 12th. If it was, if St. Patty's Day was March 12th, I will laugh. I don't think it was, but it might be. Um, we have an O and an R. R O. Mm, a gentle energy. Strategic energy. We have a T. And a C. I feel like these are initials, friends. C R O T. We have love is the ultimate law of life. So that came out in pile one as well. Some of these charms came out. Um, the purse. So I feel like this person wants to buy you nice things. Do not worry about holding a high position. Worry rather about playing an important role, I think is what it says. Playing your proper role. So this person isn't trying to like take authority over you, right? This person isn't trying to like be dominating to you. And this person isn't trying to, to overly identify with work either. This person is strategically planning to come talk to you with that page too. I feel like this person wants to come talk to you. We have an L as well, friends. A lot of fire, a lot of passion. This person has a lot to communicate. I, I feel like there's a lot of throat chakra energy here. Um, there's a lot that they want to say. We have this screw here coming out. A lot of passion. A lot of passion, right, friends? The fire truck. Um, their intentions 
are, and it could be that they just, they really want to take you out and have a good time. You are like the star to them. Some of you might be a star. Um, yeah. So some of you might be born on the 3rd or the 12th. And there's some kind of strategic... I feel like they want to show you they're they're strong like they you want they want to be your hero but they also want to show you their softer side. This person if they are your boss or they work really hard they want to show you another side of them. A side that that has a good time. That can be passionate and loving to you and focus on the connection. If you're in a and if you are already in a connection with this person and they've been working too much, they want to take you out and show you a good time. They want to give you a different perspective about them, that they can be sacred, that you can have sacred moments, and that you can hold on to this hope in your life, that you can be powerfully in the light. Okay, so that's what I see for you, Pile 2. That's what they are thinking and feeling, and that is what I see the energy as right now. Go ahead and like it if you like it, friends. Subscribe to the channel for future videos and drop a comment below. I care about how this, how you interpret this, how this has helped you or not helped you. And hopefully it has. <laughs> and yeah, if you want your own private reading, I have one private reading. You're welcome to check it out on my website. I got meditations, coaching. Check it out. Lots of love, pile two. And we'll see you in the next reading. Take care. Okay. Curious minds want to know, friends. We are looking at pile three, your person's thoughts, feelings, and energy. What is springing up in your connection? Pun intended, it's spring. Happy Easter, guys, if that is a holiday that you celebrate. You guys chose the carnelian pile three and i welcome you let's see what we got we have the lovers ten of swords persons thoughts feelings and energy five of swords hmm. So initially here, I feel like this person's had difficulty making a decision. They want love. They've already chosen love, okay? It's just, it might have taken them some time. They've been like fighting themselves. King of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Nice. Hmm. Every energy, every pile is so different today. Sometimes they have different, the same themes. And we have the moon. And we have one other. And the world. What? The heck? A lot of major arcana. So we didn't get any major arcana in pile one. Um, okay, so the wheel of fortune, the world, and the moon. Look at these circles. Circle, circle, circle. I feel like 
You guys keep circling back to one another. Whether it is from this lifetime or another lifetime. Keep finding each other. So this person might not be showing their emotions because with the King of Pentacles, they might be focused on work. And like, I feel like this person might be competing for you too. Or they either, they think that you have a lot, they think they have a lot of competition with you. Like all these people are coming for you, pile three. <laughs> and they have to compete. And maybe they are, right? Take what resonates. This person secretly wants justice. They want to bring you something fair. Mm. I really feel like this goes, it's actually like this. Mm -hmm. I think this, in this person's life, what you don't realize is that they're like, they're fighting for something. They're fighting for something to end. Sounds strange, right? But it's true. Some people have to fight for something to end. For it to be over. Like to get out of it, right? So I feel like this person is fighting for an ending. So they can be in their power and focus on their stability. So with the moon and justice, the lovers the world card and the wheel of fortune this person is consumed by your energy right this person is thinking about you two four seven three six and five this person wants to choose the world with you and they believe it's faded this person has a ton of emotions for you It's not, they're not great with emotion. Um, but they're trying to end that. They want to choose you. They want to choose love. They want to bring fairness. And they, they want to have the world with you. So they're confused a bit, but ultimately, the way I'm going to read this is like almost like a story, right? They're overwhelmed with emotion and that conflicts with them on the inside because it competes with different parts of themselves. And they want to bring a sense of fairness because they want to choose you, justice, and the lovers. They want to bring a fairness to the connection. They want to bring... They're, they want to bring all of their game. They want to bring themselves. All of themselves. And with the lovers, this is true love. This is soulmates. This is true love. They love you. They, they want to end this conflict inside of themselves. There is no deception behind the moon. It's just they're fighting themselves, friends, and they're learning like how to end that suffering of fighting oneself because they see you as the ultimate, the world, card 21. The search is over, right? And they feel it's faded, that luck is on their side, and, and if they're able to end the conflict or the perceived it's almost like they, they think that they have some kind of competition. So if they if they end the sort of competition with you, hmm, competition with you, maybe they have been competing with you. And if they just end that, if they stop the fighting, they stop fighting themselves, then they then they win because they have you. And it just feels like it's very faded that way with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get your Oracle cards. 
So we have Dry Desert, card 31. We have Worth Waiting For, Divine Timing Is At Work In Your Love Life. We have Partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. See, this is like, I feel like there's been competition and like they, they might even be competing with, with you, some of you. And this is what this requires, this partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. So this per person values your partnership. They want to partner with you. So if they've been competing with like in business or competing, I'm just really getting strong vibe of competing. It's just put them out in the middle of nowhere in this dry desert. And they're just like wandering out there, you know? And that's not something that they're interested in doing anymore. They're interested in bringing justice to this connection. And they're interested in ending difficult times, ending what could be even competition between the two of you. And because they see that your partnership is worth waiting for. Pile three, there's a lot of you watching this, so there's different scenarios here, but at the end of the day, they are like consumed with this, you know, the emotions that they feel and they're beautiful emotions. And like I said, they have challenges feeling their emotions, but they're willing and they're able because they see you as their soulmate. So we have transformation. Card 39. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of optimism here, a lot of hope, a lot of change, because the wheel of fortune has sort of spun. And there's good luck here. So this person thinks you're like their good luck charm. For some of you, this person might have been fighting like with an ex. And they just fighting with this ex and fighting and fighting and fighting. Or because this person's walking away. Or fighting with someone who was leaving their life. And they've just like forget it. Let her go or let him go. And they just decide to focus on this justice with you. This choice to have the world and good luck and good fortune with you. Even if you are... Some of you, if you aren't available now, they see you as, you know, worth waiting for. Because this partnership is so transformational. And we have communicate. Things left unsaid will never reach the shore. So this person wants to tell you that whatever has been in their past is ending. And, you know, we're not necessarily seeing what this is. But they're done fighting with it. If they're not fighting with you, they're fighting, like they're done fighting with themselves and other people. And they're ready to like let this story play out between you guys, pile three. And they do, they want to be grounded and they do want this, they want this good fortune that they see with you. They want this partnership. And they're tired of being out in the desert. So this person, they want to communicate. And they want this, this partnership to transform and they see it as faded. They see you as their lover, you know, the ultimate lover. And then they, they want to choose that. So no matter what this is symbolic of, of this arguing and it's ending. And this person is triumphant and they see you as part of their triumph, friends. Okay, pal three, let's um, get some charms and get some more clues. This may be loud, excuse me. Okay, I can already see Miku right there. 
That is a Miku pin. So some of you might like really like anime. We got 13 here. Three, lucky number 13. That's the number of the Divine Feminine, 1313. 13. So you guys might be born on the 13th or that could be something significant for you. 26 also. Um, 29. Some of you might be 29. Some of you might be 26. Somehow March 13th is significant again. That came out in Pyalt too as well. Whatever that was, I'm not sure. We have an O and a V, V O, and a K. Looking at those as could be cities, could be initials, take what resonates, friends. This is safe, okay? With that thimble. We have an I. It's like, is that an L, but it's an I. If you do anything out of sheer compassion, you will never go wrong. So they have a lot of compassion for themselves and for you. So with this communication, um, I feel like it's grounded communication. It's good communication. It's healing the first chakra. So that your person might have seen like a frog, but they're really a prince in there. They're, they are trying, they're like trying to put their best foot forward is what I'm hearing. And they don't want you to be out in the desert anymore either. And they're willing to sort of, um, they want to give in to their feelings is what I'm hearing. And so this is divine timing. And with the wheel of fortune and divine timing at work in your love life, trust the way this is unfolding. Trust the way this plays itself out. Your person is also doing that. So I feel like for some of you, you might have more questions than answers. And it's just the way things are right now. Hopefully this did help bring some clarity to you. The moon is a powerful force in this reading. Understand though, there's actually a, a, a rocket taking off now, I can hear it. I live right on the space coast so I can hear. Um, and the house is vibrating a little. So yeah, there's some kind of launch happening here in this connection and so just trust it. Trust it. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pile 3. I hope it has assisted you, offering you so much love and light. You guys take care. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for future videos. Drop a comment below. I care how you feel. And if you like it, make sure you like it. Okay, see you next time, Pile 3. Take good care.